Hello YouTubers, Hang Games through here. Welcome to 2014. No, really, welcome. It's it's time of the year where it's not Year of Luigi, I think. I'm not too certain. Is it still Year of Luigi? Can anyone clarify that for me? I'm, I'm kind of confused about the whole Millennium issue or not. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be playing as Diddy Kong, collecting bananas from this area that we've been in for two, er two episodes. Two episodes. So we're going over this way, we can spin hands over here. And we're actually gonna continue on this way. See that cage over there? Yeah you do. We're gonna head button to it. Even though it's clearly for chunky now that I take a better look at it. I guess we'll go look for something to do with Diddy. I'm sure that shouldn't be too hard, right? I mean it's it's DiddyCon. He can fly real high with his jetpack on and swim through the air and such. And cartwheel. Hmm, I feel like this episode's going nowhere already. Should I start over? No, because I work with the bananas, I don't feel like it's starting over then. We can just continue! I'm gonna try to be as obnoxious as possible. Huzzah! Anyway. Hmm, topics to bring up. Topics, topics. I pretty much was correcting my prediction of not getting 100 subs by the end of the year, because I'm still on 98. And I'm sure that will go down by some time. I don't know, maybe you guys enjoy watching me play video games? I don't know, I kind of like watching other people enjoy playing video games rather than playing them, because frankly I'm terrible at basic puzzles. And when I get to complex stuff, I have fun. This is not too complex, so I didn't really have much fun to say the least, but hey, I'm enjoying myself in some regard, so yay. Let's go this way. I have a feeling that nothing is turned on in this place. So I don't know if I can do anything here. Just gotta double check. Got to the monkey coin in here, so hmm. Memories, you fail me. I guess we'll just keep going backwards until I encounter something I can remember. Such as how to play the game. That'll be a good one. I do remember that we opened something two episodes back with um that was near Snide's headquarters, so I guess we can look for that area. Mm, is there anything else around here though? Mm, I should have just took the warp pad. Then again, I would have missed um, would have missed the engine room. Hmm, actually, what's in here? Ah, tiny. Okay, never mind. We continue going up to the place of nowhere. So, I want your opinion on something, guys. Um, for example, if you you're a fan of Gang Grumps and you've been watching them constantly, like I have for every day, you will have seen the episode with um. The Gingerbread Man and the Trixie Toy Factory episode, or whatever it was called. Uh, I think the the, um, the ninja one was about Gingerbread Man, nin Ginger Ninja or something. But, um, what's your opinion on them actually being different games or the same game? By differentiation, they both use the same process and they're the same game and they're definitely just judged upon their male to female ratio since one of them was more focused on males and the other one was females and the exact same game in the other way. But, would you consider that being the exact same game? For example right now, I'm playing the emulation of Donkey Kong 64 and you've seen glitches that will only happen in emulation. Do you believe that to be the exact same as, for example, a, me playing the original game? Or would you consider that in its own category as it's still from, and therefore as a different game entirely? What's your opinions on that? I'm just curious. Um, I hope the six of you answer to that, because I'd actually like to know what your opinions are. So anyway, let's get TinyCon out here and shoot some balloons, shall we? Ooh, that's a um, that's a feisty one. It's going back and forward. Obvious pattern. Yeah. Also, I want to know your opinion on No More Heroes. Now this is a game franchise I've been playing since like 2010. I just recently uh, picked up Heroes Paradise for my PS3 and so far I'm enjoying the lack of any difference in it, but besides reviving bosses, that's pretty cool. That was the feature that I put into the second game. Do I have a blueprint for Tiny here? Oh no. I do! Okay, so we can get to see the animation. Sweet! I'm doing something while we're coming up with conversations. Look at me go, like a throw or something. I immediately stop. 
Because I can't, because I lost my for No More Heroes, yeah. So, if we went to power version of No More Heroes 1, it was bloodless, it was all like this censored. This, like, just the blood was censored, I think. I don't know if any of the. anything else was censored, but, um. Since they, um. They. What was it? I think it was like 2010 they released Paradise. Oh, here is Paradise, which is the exact same as one. But it's lackluster. It doesn't hold any value. Actually, I think I'll go with here, Chunky. Do I have his gun yet? Or does that just neglect? Yeah, neglected doing anything with you. But we can get more coins for you, so we can get more powers, and we need your powers. We gotta get back. I just wanted to punch that robot. Because I think there was more chunky things to collect, and since we're on our way over there anyway, we might as well... Chunky, can you actually climb? Or am I forgetting something here? Yeah, there you go. Good job, uh, monkey. Funky monkey, chunky. So, chunky has the best long jump ever. But you would think maybe, hey, maybe that'll kick someone in the face when you encounter that hit. Nope. Is there anything over there? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked like crazy today. Let's go down here. Oh, is this, um... Is this nothing... This is a tiny room, jeez. See how much stuff for Tiny there was there? I gotta remember that. I should've gone down there with Tiny. Why didn't I do that? No, let's, let's go back with Chunky. That sounds like a great... Where am I? Hey! Relevance! There you go. I swear, I'm the best at killing those guys. No one is better than me at it. No one. I'm comparing myself to the likes of Nintendo Capri Sun, who did it blind. And who else did I watch? Slim Kirby. <laughs> okay, I'm not better than Slim Kirby. Slim Kirby is definitely better than me at this game. Uh, we can switch characters there if we need to, but there's probably a barrel around here. I can go back with Tiny and get some stuff, but... Actually, no, we can get weapons here for Chunky. Yeah, there it is. It is Funky. Hey Funky, I got Junky! And we can also switch... We can get Tiny's balloon and get Diddy's stuff here as well. That's great! Cover them on our ground. Cover them on our ground. That's good. We have now got the Pineapple Launcher. Yes! No idea how that works, but, you know... Triggers with twigs and pineapples and... What's this? No, we will not do that. Not with Chunky, anyway. That would be a dumb idea. You want to get a different con to do that, because you don't want to waste Chunky's ones. We still barely got him upgraded, and we need his stuff for this. So we got to do this with Donkey. <laughs> Any wrong? Donkey's got 16, so, eh, he's fine. So he'll get the upgrade for us. This goes to all cons, just in case you're curious. So with the Elmo Bet 1, which gives us 100 ammo, I believe, instead of 50. Which is a semi-nice upgrade. I'll meet you guys back out there. Hey okay, guys, we're DiddyCon here. We're going to go and show off. No, we're not going to show off that. Why am I... <sighs> Way to be confused. I, I thought to myself, okay, get Tiny, shoot the balloon, then change the Diddy. But what came out was, play as Diddy, shoot the balloon, go as Tiny. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking my plan is so perfect. It will never fail. <laughs> Immediately fails. So, now with DiddyCon, we can collect these bananas over here. Which is nice, because that's 30. And 30 is a nice round number to go off. Let me go also get more up here. Just ignore these guys. Except this one. He had it coming. And we continue our adventure. Is it lagging? I have a feeling it's lagging. Just, just listen to the music. It seems a bit... off. Supposed to be faster than this. Oh well. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now let's do a challenge, a banana challenge. Um, have I showed you guys this before? I don't know, probably not. Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. Pearl Puff Panic. In this mini game, you shoot the claptrap to clear the fairy's path. Fresh. Hey, so fire a melon and shoot the melon to reload. So let's just do it like in the pattern, and then reload every time. When I start waking up, we start again. 
Wait, did I shoot him first? I didn't shoot you first. Run around my pen. So we just have to get free to go through now. It's very easy. It gets harder later again. It's lagging a bit, I can tell. And well done! Oh, that's unfortunate. But it's six, it didn't say seven or eight. So how would I care? I'll fix this slight little lag problem for us in, uh, momentarily. I'll do it now, actually. Okay. It's still laggy, but I guess that's just what it runs on here. Something's making it run slower, I don't know what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, we've got some more... Oh, what was that? Did he? Did you just pull a move I've never seen before? Mm, whatever. Hey, look at this, look at the slowdown, it's terrible. It's like, do you... Anyway, that, I didn't get it, really? I forgot your ability, Linky. Okay, I guess we'll go get, do tinies then. But actually, we'll go get these coins down here, since apparently we need enough of that ability. Abra, what? Nox and now I'm out like an idiot and we continue our adventure. Okay, so we're gonna do Tiny's challenge that's going over here. That's where the crystals are placed here conveniently. Also, to fight the boss in this area you do need the pigtails swing or whatever it's called, I can't remember. You do need it though. Oh, by going into this area. By sliding, of course, because it makes it more interesting. This is automatic, by the way. You don't control tiny or lose any crystals in this area. And with that, we can pound this area here. And unlock our little game. Now, the game is simple. We have to shoot the area where it says next. On a moving platform. Simple, right? And no time either. Should be easy. And look how slow it's going. Uh, I'm trying to shoot it. Hmm? But wait! It's not working! What do I have to do to start this amazing game, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. Do you shoot the sensor? Yes. Now, shoot you, and shoot you, and shoot you, and then shoot you. I start again, because I'm, I'm terrible at timing. Oh, really? Okay. Apparently I still like a dot. Okay, let's shoot this a bit better this time. Ammunition box, okay. Oh, really? Whatever. What do you say, game? Okay, crystal. And the metal and box. There we go. Did that time. And with that, we have 25 bananas and pretty much doing this with Tiny. Well, we've only got really two for her and then Snide's blueprint. That also opens a fairy. Now, I may take this time to actually leave, um, this area. Just because it's lagging for one and two. Yeah, I'm gonna do it now, actually. So, we're gonna exit the level, and then head somewhere else, and after that, we're gonna end the episode off there. Shortest I know, but we need to come back here with Tiny in that route anyway, so... I'm just gonna show you guys something, and more importantly, get something. I'm gonna start the recording up again so it, so it stops the lag. Okay, there we go. Much better. So what we want to do is go to this island here. This island has a very big importance for 100% completion, as does many of the items in this game. As you can see, I can get 20 quick stools right now. That that's relevant for one, but to you. 
So I'm eating this banana, but I might as well get it since I'm here. Ooh, banana. Yes, we get it. So you don't have to say that every time, but of course you're going to do it anyway. Anyway, what we're going to do is shrink and go into this little palace here. Not this area, not the back, because the back has no relevance. You get enter from the back, there's nothing there. Look at this. Empty wall. That's just misleading. What you want to do, turn tiny, move tiny. And just enter through this little mouth gap here. Black soul. Inside you'll find a crime fairy. Also, you don't lose anything here. No crystals, I don't know why. This doesn't let you. So anyway, right, this fairy, this banana fairy is a terrible problem. All her banana fairies have flown away, and to get them back, we have to actually, well, calm down this fairy, my friends, blah blah blah, we'll look on an adventure. Just choose the banana fairy up, but we cannot catch them by simply just touching them. We need to take a picture of this skin. They're fast little creatures too, so, yeah. By taking a picture of them, she will also give us an upgrade for each fairy we've taken. So we take a fairy, we get an extra crystal, and we also now get the power to do power attacks by holding down the B button. That will also use a crystal if you use that power though. So yeah, nothing else here. So guys, thank you for watching, and next episode we'll be going fairy hunting in the third level. I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to tell you in a minute though. In Frenzy Factory. See you guys then.